Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, we will continue with uh, week number one, lecture number five. So, discuss there, discuss. There are there two quantities, that is a sub dose and exposure. Okay. So, first we see the sub dose. So, energy imparted, E, or energy, energy that is given to the uh, molecule or to uh, the cell. Okay. So, uh, the energy imparted by energy generation to a matter of mass M in finite volume V is equal to this equation where R in U is radial energy of uncharged particle entering V, the volume, R out the radial energy of all the uncharged radiation leaving V, uh, R in the charged particle entering V, R out the radial energy of the charged particle leaving V. Q is the energy derived from the mass, rest mass in this V. Okay. So, stop those. At any point P, P in uh, the volume V is equal to D equal to over D var epsilon over dm where var epsilon equal to the expression value of the energy imparted in the finite volume V during the sum interval. Uh, DE is the expression value of infinitesimal infinitesimal volume dV at point P and dM is the mass in dV. So the subdose is the expression value of the energy imparted or given to the matter per unit mass at a point. Okay, again the unit here is equal to 1 gray. 1 equal to 1 joule per kilogram uh, equal to 2 to, two to the power of 2 radians and 2 to the power of ERG over D. So uh, the absorbed dose rate, so how fast uh, it or how uh, fast it uh, absorb the energy or the molecule absorb the energy is equal to D dot equal to D D over DT, DT over DT, D bar epsilon over DM. Okay, so we can calculate using this equation. So these are the example of the uh, the energy transferred okay, or energy imparted. Okay, so this uh, first example. So one photon, photon H. Uh, new one entering volume V and then a Compton interaction produce a scattered uh, photon new H new 2 and then with a electron with kinetic energy T okay and this T again doing the bram sahlung X-ray so uh, producing H new 3 and then leaving the V with remaining T prime. Okay, and this T prime produces uh, the X-ray H nu 4. Okay, so these are the uh, energy from this energy. So it becomes uh, this energy. Coming up with H nu 1, uh, coming, uh, coming in with H nu 1, coming out with uh, an electron and H nu 4 energy. Okay, so the energy imparted, energy transferred, and energy net energy transferred in V can be calculated using E H nu one minus H nu two plus H nu three plus T prime equal to zero. Okay, so in uh, this this value or in this uh, volume, E uh, transferred H nu one minus H nu 2 plus 0 equal to T. So, here, these are T. H nu 1 and H nu 2. Okay, and uh, the net uh, energy trans transfer, energy transfer equal to H nu 1 minus H nu 2 minus H nu 3 plus H nu 4 plus 0. So T minus H nu 3 plus H nu 4. Okay, so these are the energy, uh, net energy trans transferred. Okay, 
so how many energy from this photon transferred in this volume and how exit the volume the next one is example number one so here we can see that the photon is coming from the volume in the volume H1, uh, T1 and T2 emitted by radio atom in V. The photon undergoes pair production giving kinetic energy T1 to the electron and T2 to the positron. Then to run their course in V, the positron is then annihilated and resulting two photon 0.511 megahertz which are shown escaping from V. Okay, so coming out and coming. So the energy imparted, energy transferred, energy energy in V are E equal to E transferred, equal to E uh, transferred and uh, net energy transferred equal to zero point minus one point zero two two megalitre volt plus sum the summation of Q. Okay, so where Q is H nu one minus two m uh, not c squared plus 2 m not c squared equal to h nu so then this energy uh, mass in this volume hence e uh, var epsilon var epsilon transport net var epsilon transport equal to h nu 1 minus 1022 mega electron volt t1 plus t2 okay so this energy minus the escaping energy. The rest will be absorbed by this molecule. The next example, example number 3. So again, this one photon coming from this volume. Okay. If the, so this, if the positron has been generated in flight when its remaining kinetic is just T3, okay, then the total quantum energy of the energy photon would be 1.022 mega plus T okay so this one t3 to relative loss okay so meaning that is greater than 1.022 okay so this energy t3 also will be coming out from this volume will not affect this volume okay so the this one energy so e equal to t1 t2 T3, uh, var epsilon equal T1, T2, T3, transferred, uh, T1 plus T2, and net 0 minus 1.022 minus T3 plus H nu 1, so T1 plus T2 minus T3, okay? So here we can see that these are the energy wasted outside. Okay, so there we will not, uh, this energy will not uh, be given to a molecule in this volume. <coughs> okay, so that is for the absorbed dose and the uh, example of the energy imparted. So next is the exposure, the last uh, quantity. Okay, the third most important, this, this exposure is the third most important fundamental non-stochastic process. A quantity in radical physics and it was introduced long before Kerma and Sobdos and measured in one again. Okay, so the exposure is equal to TQ X equal to DQ over DM where DQ is the absolute value of the total charge of the ion of one sign produced in air when all the electrons liberated by photon in air of, of mass DM are completely stopped in the uh, Okay, so this this one, so the total charge. Okay, and this one, uh, this uh, ionization does not coming from this absorption of Bram's trahlo. <coughs> not included. Okay, so to 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 calculate the exposure, so we need to give a definition. The mean energy W bar okay so this is the ionizing equivalent of the collision karma in air for x ray and gamma ray so the, we define this 
W bar. The mean energy expended in a gas per ion pair form. Okay, so the mean energy expected in a gas per ion pair. So T1, Ti1 minus Gi, Ni1 minus Gi. Okay, where Ti is this, the kinetic and initial kinetic energy of the ice electron. So this is, a, we have a lot of electron or a, we have a lot of radiation with a set, uh, with a different uh, initial energy. Okay, kinetic energy. Motion of by X or gamma ray in this volume of air at point P at specified time interval. Ni is the total number of ion pair that are produced in air by the this uh, energy or this radiation, and Gi is the fraction of Ti spent by the particle in relative interaction along its full path in air. Okay, so how how many particles that it can by this uh, kinetic energy uh, can produce the uh, particle. Okay, the fraction of those ion pairs that are generated by the photon resulting from the relative loss interaction. So, this one is from uh, the charged particle do the radiation and it also produces uh, another ion pair. So, for dry air, so it will be compared with uh, the mean uh, the mean energy with the electron okay for the dry air so we see that the ionization is about 33.97 joule per coulomb okay okay so meaning that for one electron so we can produce uh, this many this many ion pair Okay, so regarded as a constant for each gas, the independent of photon energy for X and gamma ray energy above a few kilo as no volt. Okay, so this one is considered a constant for each gas. Okay, so if we have a, in hydrogen, in oxygen, so the the ionization of that uh, hydrogen or oxygen may be the Okay, so what are the relation of exposure to the energy flows? Okay, so this is one. X equal to psi, the mass subsection, coefficient, times the mean energy. Okay, so here we have the comma of collision in the air divided by 33.97. Okay, so if we have the comma collision for... Uh, Thermal collision value, so we put here so we can get the exposure. Okay, so the unit and of exposure, so we here we see that is coulomb per kilogram, but the whole unit is not a gun. Community units of exposure. So defined as the exposure that produced in air one ESU electric unit, uh, electron unit of charge of either sign per 0 0.00129 gram of air created by the photon. Okay, so the conversion. <coughs> one charge produce uh, this. So the, uh, the conversion between uh, coulomb per kilogram and gun is equal to 1 coulomb per kilogram equal to 300, uh, 3,876 Okay, so these are the units. Okay, so if we have the energy, energy influence, so the exposure of any, uh, the relation of exposure to energy influence equal to just integration from energy zero E naught to E N or E max of uh, this psi dot E D A so we can have the exposure of this energy.
lagi so the next one is the exposure rate ok so how exposed uh, how fast they will be to be exposed by the this radiation so the exposure rate at the point P at time T equal to X dot over uh, equal to DX over DT ok and the exposure looking related time T naught or T1 is equal to this X dot T DT and for a constant comma rate X this a K so X equal to X dot T1 minus T ok so we have this exposure so we can calculate the exposure by this exposure rate or by the con by this equation ok so this one uh, by doing the experiment so we can calculate use the detector to measure the exposure rate. So what are the significance of this exposure to our experiment or to the the scientist or the radiographer? Okay. So these are the yeah, for exposure and its rate provide a convenient and useful means of casting an X-ray or gamma ray field. Okay, so here we uh, focus more on X-ray and gamma ray. Okay, the photon, the photon. Okay, the energy influence uh, psi is proportional to the exposure x for any given photon energy or spectrum so the emission of element in air is really similar in effective to number or to x and gamma ray energy absorption okay so because the, of the approximate, approximate tissue equivalent of air noted in item 2 the value of collision karma in muscle per unit of exposure is nearly independent of the photon energy and x-ray field at a point can be characterized by mean of exposure regardless of whether there is air actually located at this point ok so it is better to see this one ok so here we can compare ok so we can test this are our muscle or the cell ok this is the photon energy then it's this absorption ok so here nearly the same ok so you can see that when we have this photon let's say 10 to the power 2 until 10 to the power 4 so we can assume that uh, when we do the approximation before we we shine the radiation to our body or to the patient body so we can uh, shine it to the water and see the effective and the exposure uh, the uh, how much exposure that uh, the 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 patient will get okay for that energy run okay meaning meaning that we can test with water first before we test with the human okay so this this one but here you can see that uh, in this one so you cannot compare if we use the acrylic plastic so this one is water and air but here this acrylic plastic so we do not have only this part is nearly uh, uh, the, the same nearly the same with uh, the bone ok so this one is we want to uh, exposure or, or we radiate the contohnya cancer tulang Okay, so kita nak matikan cancer dekat sel cancer dekat tulang tu. So we need uh, see that we need uh, this a lot of energy to kill the uh, or will be the same as in absorption in the bone our bone. So here we can use the this water for the testing
okay so that is for this lecture thank you